March 1965. High profile attorney F. Lee Bailey delivers a stunning message to the Boston Strangler Task Force. His client, Albert DeSalvo, is the Boston Strangler. When the news hits the headlines, it eases fears among the panicked public, but fails to mention one critical detail. The fact is, there's little to connect the self-proclaimed strangler to the 11 murders. There was really not a stone unturned that they didn't look at, but there was no physical evidence that was left at the scene. For now, investigators have only the word of the self-proclaimed Boston Strangler himself. With so much at stake, they desperately want to know, who is Albert DeSalvo? And is this father of two the serial killer he claims to be? Albert was so contrary to what you expected a vicious killer to look like. He wasn't well-spoken or well-educated, but he was very pleasant. But Bailey believes there's another, much darker side to his mild-mannered client. He arranges for a psychiatrist practiced in the art of hypnotism to question DeSalvo and draw out the inner demons. So I was very anxious to find out exactly what was going on in this very twisted and troubled mind. And it developed that Albert's daughter had had a serious deformity when she was born, and it was his job as her father to take her legs and force them apart and together again like scissors, even though that was painful. He told the doctor, sometimes you have to hurt people to help them. When the doctor began to press him on it, Albert came out of his chair and knocked the doctor across the room into a wall. When he began to talk and open up what was truly Mr. Hyde, I thought to myself, this is the stuff of novels and fiction. I had never seen anything like it before, and I have never seen anything like it since.